Matadi town in Congo. The Nzanza neighborhood is a slum. Hundreds of juvenile gangs operate here. They're called the Kuluna. The gangs are spreading out of the big cities like a virus. It's a social epidemic. Kulunas are mainly involved in theft and robbery. Supposedly, employment opportunities are increasing in the country, but the reality is massive unemployment. The resource extraction sector is currently booming, but it's controlled by government officials. According to those who live in Nzanza, they only give jobs to their own people, and the rest have to survive however they can. Becoming a Kaluna is one of the popular options. This is Sheena Ram, the leader of the Outlaws gang. Sheena Ram is the short form of Sheena Rambo, a character from a Nigerian action movie. The Outlaws are a young gang. The kids are 15 to 17 years old. They share a street in the Nzanza neighborhood with the Trikaj gang. Together, they form the Devil Group. The outlaws control the public restroom, while Tricage lords it over the Paris restaurant. This is the Devil's Turf, and the police station is on the same street. It's just 300 meters from the Paris to the precinct. Major Charles is the chief at the police station, and it's his job to deal with the devil group and other street gangs. And that's what we have a lot of antivalors. There's a phenomenon actual that reigns in the city, the phenomenon of Kuluna. The Kuluna are bandits who operate with the machete, and they tend to send des à to the population, to the people, the night, like the journey. Ils ravissent des biens, ils, ils volent, ils blessent déjà avec des machettes, tout ça. Donc, euh, nous avons du pain sur la planche pour euh, commander et la commune de Nzanza. Matadi was founded in a rocky place. That's what Matadi actually means, a rock. And since its founding, the main jobs here are quarrying and stone cutting. But this kind of work is not to everyone's liking. As a rule, the devils don't do anything during the day. They just hang about. The guys smoke marijuana non-stop. It's the cheapest drug here. In Congo, as in many countries, drug use is illegal. But it doesn't stop the gang members, and they seem unconcerned about the harm it does their health. By nightfall, many of them would be literally speechless. <laughs> And Zanza streets are like a maze. If you go in there, you won't be able to get out on your own.
Even if they're just messing around, it still has violent overtones. That's how life is here. The public restroom is a source of regular income for the outlaws gang. There are plenty of houses here that have no plumbing, so the restroom is in high demand. To do a number two will cost you 100 francs, while taking a shower is also 100 francs. This is a friend of Shino Rams. He calls himself King Kalamba. He's a good football player, but he can't afford to keep on training. <laughs> the outlaws run a protection racket at the restroom, and every day they get money from the manager. He's been in cahoots with the gang for a long time, but he appears to resist them in order to keep up appearances. While they were extorting money from the manager, one of the gang members got sick. Mm. The Paris restaurant hasn't been a restaurant for quite some time now. It's been a long time since the denizens of Nzanza have had enough money to dine out. That's where the Tricage gang, mentors of the outlaws, hang out. Tricage's main goal is to save up enough money to buy a boat and go to sea via the Congo River. And after that, on to Europe or even America. Fiston, the gang leader, speaks about the code of the hood. <laughs> Of course, the younger ones don't listen to the elders. 
And now, Sheena Ram is plotting something at the neighborhood's southern outskirts. If Sheena Ram ever runs for president, it's going to be very hard for him to win. The ordinary people don't like the Kulunas. To be taken to the station is not the worst thing that could happen to a Kuluna. Lynch mob mentality is typical in the Congo. They put a tire around a criminal, douse them in petrol, and set them on fire. <laughs> Nzanza consists of thousands of little houses that nestle cheek by jowl on a hill, which overlooks the city jail. King Columba is packing up a food parcel for one of the gang members, who's currently doing time. <laughs> Food must be passed to prisoners not via the main entrance, but through a hole in the fence. The police consider Kalamba a good kid. He's a footballer and can walk around freely. But Sheena Ram has to hide out in the Paris's shower room. He's a wanted criminal and tries to avoid being seen on the main street. There's a police officer there on the beat right now. Nino <laughs> 
दो आंगू का का It seems something is going on. All the devils are assembling in the Paris. Fiston is unhappy with a recent robbery committed by Sheena Ram. So the older devils will fight the younger ones. Fighting in the hood could be dangerous. So they've agreed to go to the other side of the Congo River. But one car can't take all those who want to fight. In the end, both gangs travel in the same car to save on gas. Usually, there's a huge traffic jam before the bridge over the Congo River. The bridge was a gift to Matadi from Japan. And so here we are. The very next day, the devils go swimming together in the Congo River. Oh, I'm mine. I'm safe. Please. Oh, it's better than the other one. Well, I'm fine. Oh, they met me. Oh, yeah, I'm mine. Oh, yeah, I live. It's not just a group logo, it's a magic charm. Other gangs might ask a sorcerer for help to take over the devil's turf or to kill someone. This sign breaks any spell. <laughs> A machete is 32 inches long. The outlaws say it's the optimal length for a machete. The devils are going from door to door. They're trying to purchase a cat. 
in Nzanza, it's not that easy. To the boys, a cat is a magical animal that imbues people with strength and ferocity. But it requires eating a feline. So the Kulunas consume cat two or three times a week. Besides, cat is the cheapest meat you can get. The devils are throwing a big party tonight. Friends and neighbors gather for the dinner made of cat meat. The main street is the only one in the neighborhood. All the action happens in the small alleys between the houses. As soon as the crowd gathers for the party, a makeshift barber shop starts up. <laughs> the white building up there is a church. <laughs> If you go up the path, you'll end up at the restroom. If you go down, you'll reach the prison. The lads haven't partaken of cat yet, but they're already angry. They can't agree on how to share it fairly. <laughs> A week after filming, Shina Ram and Rais attacked an appliance store. A guard called the police, and when they arrived on the scene, they opened fire. A bystander was killed by a stray bullet. 
Sheena Ram and Rais are currently being held in the Matadi city prison. Mama. 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 Mama.